Hello, I'm Mira. Today, we reward our body with a recovery lower body stretch class. You will need a long towel or scarf or belt and an option of an arm weight, golf ball, tennis ball, massage ball, or rolling pin, or even a marker for this class. Stretching promotes flexibility so you will move more fluidly. So come, let's begin the class. We're going to start standing. I'm bringing my little, little items here with me. So, so we're going to start standing and you may use an arm weight, a ball or a marker. We're going to release our foot. So I'm going to use the arm weight here as an example. Press your foot on it. You can use as well, of course, a ball or a marker. It works pretty nicely. So put your weight on it. And I want you to just roll. Roll your foot on the ball, on the arm weight or the marker, like you're rolling a piece of dough when you're baking. Okay, so I want you to go around all the muscles around your foot on the inside, on the outside, a little bit ouchy, yeah, on the front towards the ball of the foot, towards the back of the heel, and just freestyle it. Freestyle on what feels good, really, and work on it. And if you feel something that's feel a little sticky, maybe you're gonna roll it and work it a little bit deeper. Ouchie, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but you're gonna feel really good after this. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the other side. So, okay, so I'm gonna use the ball. Here, just an option because I have options here. And I'm gonna roll myself, ooh, tender around the arch of my foot, on the inside of my arch, on the outside of the arch, towards the back of the heel. Maybe put your weight on it. Again, freestyle it. Whatever you feel like you wanna do and what feels good. A little tender on the front of my foot. I wonder why. Hmm. Okay, so again, observe and see the difference between each foot in your body and work on it. Go a little bit harder, perhaps. You know, roll that door like you're baking. Okay, here we go. Ooh, tenderize your foot. All right, all right, okay. I think that should do the job. All right, just put it aside and just feel how your feet are feeling at the moment. Mine feels really lifted and really kind of soft and gooey. I feel that support from my feet coming up to my pelvis. How do you feel? Ask yourself. All right, it's time to grab your scarf, your belt, or your towel. So let's go and lie on your back. We're going to start with our hamstring stretch. So let's begin with the leg closer to me. Take it up to the sky. All right, ground the pelvis here. So we're gonna start with the other leg bent on the floor here. So pelvis secured on the floor. We in breath, exhale, straighten and push that towel or the scarf away from you and go to a maximum extension of the knee here. Whatever it is for you today, maybe you go a little bit more diagonal away from you. Maybe you can go vertical. Maybe you go closer towards you. Every leg's different, so go to your maximum. And then we soften the knees again, and then we straighten again, reach out. Perhaps it'll shake, mine's starting to shake, so maybe push through, go to your maximum. Now, if you feel comfortable and if it's available to you, you can straighten the other leg down on the floor, if it's available to you. I'm gonna scoot myself up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna straighten my leg here, and I'm gonna continue stretching bending my leg and stretching up here. I perhaps gonna try if I can bring the leg a little closer towards my chest. Ooh, very intense. And one more. And then just stretch away. Go to your max, go to your max, go to your max. Then once you reach the max, stay. And just stay there in breath. Enjoy the intensity of that stretch. Exhale, pull a little bit closer, pull a little bit deeper, ground your leg a little bit closer to the floor. Exhale, just holding it in breath. Exhale. Try to find a sense of easiness in this intensity. 
exhale one more now can we go a little bit deeper now go to your max ouchie yup you can scream and let it go All right now hold on hold on hold the scarf or the towel with the opposite hand i want you to sickle the foot so invert the foot think about the little pinky pulling or rotating towards the floor Ooh, you feel a stretch on the outer layer of the leg then we bring the leg across the body haha -ha. yeah keeping the knee nice and straight we are stretching on the outer layer of the leg. And then you can have the other hand down on the floor and keep smiling and breathe in breath. Exhale, ground the pelvis and allow the gravity to take the weight off the leg a little bit more. In breath. Exhale, use your breath to calm your sensory. And even though it could be quite intense here in breath exhale maybe a little bit more to the ground last one and recover back up bend the knee take the other leg up bring it up and bring the stretch leg across onto the thigh for our glute stretch so take the hand behind the supporting leg and take the other hand pushing the thigh away so we pull in with the supporting leg we push out on the stretch side so that's your glutes so we stay here in breath and exhale perhaps you can bring the thigh a little closer to your chest and push out further and so in here, you want to make sure that your tush are still down on the floor. You want to curl up. So keep it down, anchor it, and keep the spine long. One more. A little bit deeper. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Let it go. Okay, release the leg over to the other leg. Bring the scuff. Second side, start with the bent knee on the ground. We bend and extend stretch to your max and again we bend and extend perhaps we want to extend the other leg on the floor if it's available to you just listen to your body and we stretch out again go a little bit longer go a little bit high to the sky and in breath and again, press and reach, high five the ceiling with your foot, but print your bottom down to the floor at the same time. Last one here. And press and reach, 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 and hold that. And we stay breathing. Exhale. And breathing. And use your breath to relax your parasympathetic nervous system. As you bring the leg a little closer to its you, straighten it a little bit more to intensify the stretch. One more, one more breath. Then we're gonna try to pull closer, straighten a little bit more, pull closer, straighten a little bit more. Oh gosh. All right, and relax that. All right. Across. Bring hold on with the opposite hand. Sickling the foot. Oh, invert the foot. And then we bring the leg across to the opposite direction. You can have the other hand grounding down to the floor. You need to get the pelvis down. Oh boy. This is quite intense. And we breathe. I'm telling myself I need to breathe. This is quite full on. How about yours? How are you feeling? Yeah. You're going to feel great after this class. So just bear with me. Bear with the stretch. And stay with me. One more. Can we go a little bit deeper? Maybe a little higher. And... 
and we come back, recover, recover. All right, bring the other leg in, cross the stretch leg on top of the thigh, hand back of the thigh, other one, push the thigh away. So we pull in and push out for the glute stretch, your bottom muscle. Breathe. And keeping the bottom anchored. You can also bring the thigh closer to your chest. At the same time, push away. Two more breath here. And last one. All right, and let it go. Release that, you can bring, place the scalp away onto the side, come up. Okay, now let's go on to all four. We're gonna stretch the inner thigh here. Have your knees slightly wider. I'm gonna go cross way here. Have your knees slightly wider than your pelvis. Then have your hands here on the floor. Now I want you to open the knees as wide as you feel comfortable, okay? Now here, we're going to pull back so your pelvis is going to move back towards the heel to your max, okay? Then arms reach, arms reach, like you're doing a rest position, but with a wide leg. So, okay, and then we're going to stretch and hold this position. So we're in breath. Can we go a little bit lower? Can we go a little bit wider? And whew, exhale, in breath. Exhale, think about melting away. Don't think about the pain. Use your breath to find an ease, to find a sense of softening, sense of softening, a sense of relaxation. And gravity will just allow your body to, or pull your body down to the floor a little bit more. One more. All right. And carefully help yourself up. Oh, that was intense. Oh, well done. Move your hip a little bit. All right, then let's go to your hip flexors. We have kneeling position, one foot in front of here. I've got my right leg in front of me. Tuck the back toes under. I want you to curl the bottom. So squeeze the bottom under here. Pull up this abs, and then bring your pelvis forward. Do not hang your lower back. Pull in, curl, and bring, whoa. Bring your pelvis forward so you find the stretch across the front of your hip. And then you can just keep your hand here and then just shuffle this foot forward to adjust it. I want the knee and the heel in vertical alignment and we just stay there in breath. Exhale, go deeper. Go more forward, go taller. And one more. Now, you may need to use the scarf or the belt. We're going to grab the back leg for the quadriceps. If you can get it with your hands, fantastic. If not, grab your scarf or your belt and hook it around your ankle. And then we stay here. Exhale, we lift. We try to pull the back heel closer towards your pelvis. And maybe you need to prop your knee a little bit more with a thicker uh, base. I have a very thick mat here. So just try to use something that to make this stretch work for you. Okay, a pillow, a cushion, a towel, whatever it is. One more. Oh yeah and let it go. Careful, careful, careful release, switch the leg. The other one, I'm gonna turn, tuck the bottom, pull up, tall, forward, without sinking, lift up. This foot needs to come a little bit more forward. Then you feel the stretch right here and then you stay. Go tall. Shh. 
can I go a little bit further? Ask yourself, can you go a little bit further? Can you go a little bit deeper? Yes, we can. We always can do something more. Yeah, the word yes. All right, then the quadriceps, grab a towel if you need to, or just grab it with your hand. All right, pull up, pull up, Woo, and balance. And we try to pull that heel closer to you. Exhale, nice and tall. And there we go. And one more breath. Hang on there, hang on there, go deeper, pull it. This is your last breath, let's go. Hold it, hold it, hold, and carefully release. All right, Ooh, okay, bring that foot in. Come on, shake it up. All right, now I want you to just go ahead and just roll the spine down. A quick little prancing with the leg here. I want you to try to flatten the back as much as you can. And I want you to just bend one knee and then switch. And then bend, back nice and straight. I'm falling over and bend and just walk it and walk it, sway the hip and walk it. Try to keep the back nice and long as much as you can. And walk, and walk, and walk. There's no right or wrong. I just want you to walk and bend. Keep the heel down though. Just bend, and bend, and bend, and change, and change, and change, and change. And three, two, one. Awesome. And then bend the knees, curl the bottom, and roll the spine up. And you are done. Excellent. Enjoy that new lower body of yours. I see you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and pin on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.